Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got such a fun project for you today. Uh, let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this fun? It's a gorgeous quilt. Basically, we're talking about here a half square triangle, but we've made it with a strip set. So that makes it really, really fun. So to make this quilt, what you're going to use is 42 and a half inch strips. And we have used Servilla Blues by Andrea Comninos for uh, Bannertex. And it's just a really fun line. You can see all those blues and greens. I mean, just a gorgeous line. Then you're going to need background fabric and we used about three yards or you can buy a packet of 10 inch squares. That will also work of whatever color you choose. We chose white. Um, and I just can hardly wait to show you how to make this because it's really fun. So basically we are going to sew a strip set together. Five strips just like this. And, but there's a trick to doing that because when you go to sew strips, if you sew them one after the other after the other, they can actually bow. And I don't know why they do this. This is like a universal mystery. Nobody really knows why they do that. But the way to uh, get around that is you're gonna sew two together like this, and you're gonna put your right sides together just like this and sew down it this way. When you go to add your third strip, you're gonna add it going the other direction. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that so you can see that a little better. So we're just gonna sail along this edge right here, a quarter of an inch. We've got our two strips lined up. So once you get to the end of your two strips that you've sewn together, you're going to keep a hold of this end that you just ended on and you're gonna add your next strip to the side and you're gonna sew and it will be going the other direction. So now you've sewn this way, now you're coming back up the other way and you're gonna sew those and just a quarter of an inch and you're gonna keep going this way, going back and forth until you have sewn five strips together. So now that you've got your five strips together, just like this, we need to cut them into squares. Now this should be ideally 10 inches. Let's check and see if it is. It is very close to 10. So let's go ahead. We're going to cut this off, cut off our selvages. Make sure it stays lined up. Trim that off and we're going to come in 10 and make a cut. And do that to our whole strip set. So once you get your, uh, your squares cut, you'll have a little leftover piece and who knows what we're gonna do with that. But then you're gonna deal with these squares right here. So let's take one of these, let's just move all these down here. And we're gonna make sure that we're 10 inches. So I'm putting it on my mat here to measure it up, make sure we're a hair over. So I'm just gonna kind of clean up those edges. Just barely, little tiny bits, clean them up. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to take this square and pair it with a 10 inch background square. So here's our 10 inch background square. We're gonna lay those right sides together. Now what we're gonna do is what you've seen me do a ton of times, we are gonna sew all the way around the outside edge. So let's go to the sewing machine and do that. Now it doesn't really matter which direction your stripes run, you're just gonna put that 10 inch square on top and we are gonna sew down the, around the whole thing. Once you get your block sewn all the way around, a quarter of an inch on all four sides, and you wanna make sure, you actually really wanna look at that quarter of an inch because that's what's gonna mean that your blocks come out the same size. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this diagonally both directions. This is one of the reasons I love this ruler is because it, it, just, it, it just goes right, it allows me to cut them uh, diagonally both directions. This is one of my favorites. So we're gonna cut that. And we're gonna come over this way, make a diagonal cut both directions. And then we got these blocks right here. Are these not so cool? All right, let's press these back. We'll go over here to the ironing board. And um, I'm gonna set my seams. And then I'm just gonna turn them over so my dark stripey side is to the top because 
we want that seam allowance on the darker side of the fabric. So we're pressing to the dark side and we're just going to do that to all of these. And you see very quickly when you start looking at these blocks, they're running different directions, which I, I just think is so much fun. All right, so here we have these right here. And you see, see how the stripes, see how the stripes on this one run this way, and on this one they run this way. You don't really notice that at all in the quilt behind you, do you? It just gives, it just gives it that mixed up, fun, scrappy look, and we don't notice it. So we're not paying attention to that. We're not worrying about it at all. What we're doing with these is we're going to set these, um, just line them up just like this. So our, our white is always going to be on the bottom left. And when we put our rows together, that's how they're going to go, just like this. Let me get it down here so you can make sure you can see this really good. There we go. So they're always going to point up just like this. See how these point up to the top? Really, really fun. Um, and then you're just going to sew your, your twos and twos together like this, and then you're going to start sewing your rows together, and pretty soon you're going to have a quilt that's finished. This makes a quilt that is 60 by 72, but... Um, I, <laughs> I just want you to remember, this is a half square triangle. So any of the things I have done with any of the half square triangles, you can do with this block. And there are a ton of things you can do with this block. So on this quilt, we've got 10 blocks, 12 rows. So 10 blocks in each row, you're going to do that 12 times, and it just makes a great quilt. Again, it's 60 by 72. We're calling it cutting cor corners because you actually cut from corner to corner. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Cutting Corners Quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.